Hi, Kasidli here. Um, I'm just before the video starts. I just wanted to make um, let you know that uh, I'm recording these videos very slightly differently now. Um, we're doing uh, Mass Effect Let's Play, um, and what I'm trying to do is I'm going to put myself in the corner of the screen uh, using the camera. Um, it's new. It's a new technique. Um, as I'm getting a bit more confident now, I wanted to try and up my game with my videos a little bit. So I wanted to... I, I think sometimes, you know, when you're playing a game, you like to see the reactions of the person playing. So, sort of, you know, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I want to just thank you for, like, my subscribers that uh, I've got at the moment. I, I thank you for uh, sticking with me. And I hope you enjoy. Hey, Kasuki here. Welcome to my Let's Play episode one. Uh, this is this this um, one is going to be in two parts. I'm going to do the first bit because there is a lot of like cutscenes. Which I think are important to the story. So we will get into it. I will upload both episodes on the same day, aren't you lucky? So let's get started. Welcome to so start a new career. Classified information requested. I'll turn my volume back up because I turn it down, silly mate. Okay. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Right, so this is where you can sort of have your own reconstruction. You can have your pre built um, Commander Shepard, who is just like a soldier spec. Um, and he's got a set story, a set uh, background. Or you can do the new um, ID, which is a custom made um, soldier. Please log in to access your profile. So, for instance, you can change his name from John to Kasuke, if I can put in spell. Okay. Click OK. Ah, good, good, it's working. Oh, what? What the hell? Please reconstruct profile. Oh, right, I'd forgotten about that bit. Confirm pre service history. Right, just before we start, I'm, I do apologise drinking, I've got a bit of a strange throat so I thought I might as well get it out of the way before anybody sees it I have a Lion King mug which is peppermint tea because it's good for your throat so I do apologise if I drink mid before it's just a uh, dump in my throat so you've got different um, special well, I say back, they're more like backstories I won't read them out, but I'll just hover over them for a couple of seconds so you can have a chance. Okay, it's moving on then. I'm going to go with colonist. Again, I'll do the same here. Okay, this is just basically the way people will see you from the start. For instance, Soul Survivor, they'll sort of pity you because you lost your whole crew. War Hero, you know, you'll be praised for being a war hero. A Ruthless just means that you get the job done, sort of thing, and people will fear you a little bit, I think. I'm going to go with Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialisation.
I do apologise if I keep glancing at the camera, I'm just making sure it is still recording. So I decided I'm going to go Vanguard. Confirm facial identification. And we'll change his faces. We'll change his hair. Where is it? I think, yeah. Yeah, I like that. What do you think? I'm going to change his nose. His nose is okay. We'll change his jaw a little bit. That's it. His eyes, we'll leave that one okay. Neck thickness, we'll bring that down a bit. Like that. I think his neck is quite. See, because I have quite a big neck, but nah, I don't want him to have a big neck. Okay, so then I'm quite happy with that. What do you think? Yeah, brilliant. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, Identification click confirm. confirmed. Now be warned, once you've done that bit, you can't go. You can, you can go back now. You can't. You can't go back and change it. Okay, just just so you know. Leave that as it is. Oh look, a giant clothes peg. Well. What about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Sorry, I did get me excited. Navigation, check, internal emissions sync engaged, all systems online, drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. You're paranoid. Because of the project, they have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. 
Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. Now with this, you have different types of conversation. You can pick the flow of the conversation. The top one is what we call Paragon, which means you get good points for that. Um, the middle is neutral, so you don't really get anything for it. And on the bottom one, you get Ruthless, as I mentioned earlier. Ruthless just means it'll open up into a, um, interactions later where you can intimidate uh, answers out of people if need be, or you can sweet talk them, basically. So that's basically, you know, so I'm going to go with the top one because I'm going to be good. I'm a good boy. They don't send specters on shakedown rooms. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks sound. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission report to lead back to Alliance for Aspen Food. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed away. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <sighs> He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <sighs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. As you see in the in the bottom, I got two paragon points for those interactions. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see it. Good luck, Commander. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope real you're kidding. Real action. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with the Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so off we go. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Sorry. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's real going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup of Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. 
What else can you tell me? This is Big Chief. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this ship. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Now it's will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. We're going in. Aging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nyland, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nyland will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. So that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Um, just due to time, and I'm, I'm aware there was a lot of cutscenes. Um, so I will upload this one. But I'm going to carry on playing, and I will upload the, the next one at the same time as this one. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and comment in the bottom. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.